Hey guys, we got a 2005 Mazda Tribute. Uh, this got the V6 engine in it, and this is the same thing as a Ford Escape of the same year. Um, and what we're going to be doing is putting a radiator in this. And the owner of this car, she said she was turning into her house. She heard a pop, and then fluid started running out of the bottom of the engine. And I just got to looking down in here, and I saw this little black plastic piece. Let's see if I can zoom in here. I didn't notice this on the initial. Where's that? Where am I looking? Yeah. See that little piece right there? Right there. Well, that is actually a fan blade. So the fan came apart and it actually punctured. Whenever I put water in it, you can actually see the damage to the radiator. Let's see if I can get the light where it needs to be. But you can kind of see the, the damage to the radiator. Water, water just pours out of the radiator. It, it hit that fin, that tube, going into the, the side saddle, the side tank, and uh, punctured the radiator. Or, yeah. So... We're now going to have to put a radiator in it, and now it's going to have to have at least a fan. I don't know if you can buy just a separate blade or not. Probably not, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see that whenever we get to it. And it looks like this bracket's going to have to come off. Same bracket on the other side. I think the uh, hood latch will come off. We'll lay it off to the side. Um, and then of course all the hoses and I don't know what on the bottom is going to have to be disconnected there are a few hoses that I've noticed on this thing and that's probably going to be the the toughest part is just getting to all the hoses I don't know if there's any hoses on this side or not I can't really see I don't know if I'll be able to pull the fans out of here. Since I'm having to replace that one, I'd like to just pull the fans straight up and out of here. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Anyway, we'll deal with that when we get there. First step is getting this uh, these brackets off and seeing uh, that you can see the radiator kind of has some movement. So I don't know if I can get these brackets off and then pull this radiator back or forward rather. And unbolt these fans and pull the fans up out of there or not. Uh, that's going to be my game plan since the fan is going to be replaced it doesn't look like when you look straight down here it just doesn't look like there's a whole lot of room this is the v6 model so i mean it's tight um it's, if it was the four cylinder you'd probably have more room uh down in this area but anyway let me get the camera mounted okay so we have some eight millimeters and ten millimeter so, let's go ahead and get these tens out of here. See what all right, well, that works pretty good. You can do if you're careful, you can just kind of lay those off to the side, they're just being held on with a little plastic Christmas tree push pin. You can pull that out if you want to, but I don't think I'm going to mess with it. Next thing I'm going to do is get this uh, latch out of my way. It looks like 10 millimeter.
if I can get these fans out of the way, I can probably reach down there and get the hoses off, off from the top. I may not even have to go underneath the, uh, the car, and that's kind of what I was hoping. Now the center bolt here, you, they're nut, you don't have to take all the way off. It's actually got a uh, kind of a fork. Gonna lay that off to the side, but if you look, right there, you see that it's forked, so there's no reason to uh, to actually remove it. At least, you don't have to remove it all the way. That looks like. There's an eight millimeter attached to this bracket. They got the hose zip tied to the bracket that is supposed to hold it. It's going to have to be out of the way, and there's an 8 millimeter down here. that out of the way real nice. Um, and as much as I can move this, I'm going to unbolt these fans. I think these fans have come up out of here. This fan's going to have to be replaced anyway, but if I can get the fans up, I ought to be able to reach down there, hopefully from the top, and not have to uh, crawl underneath this vehicle. I'm going to go ahead and get these two hoses off though. Well that hose came off nice and easy. I'm, I am replacing the hoses. Since I'm already here, I, I told them it'd be a good idea to replace the hoses, so that's what I'm going to do. There's also another hose right down here. Uh, I don't know what that is. Maybe radiator or uh, transmission. So I got the clamp off. Okay, it looks like this hose, there's plenty of slack, so I'm cutting this hose, because it is not wanting to come off. And I'm going to show you, what I mean. So that hose right there, I'm just tearing up, trying to get it off. And there is plenty. See how much slack there is in this hose. So, if you're having problems with this like I am, just cut it off. Make it easy on yourself. I'm 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. Okay, the fan. I'm just going to put those in there because it holds that bracket out of my way. The fan bolts are 8 millimeter. Yeah, the radiator is just sitting down in a couple rubber grommets. So if I can get everything from the top, that's going to be the way to do this job. So I think I've got all the hoses. There's one going to be left down there. I'm going to see if I can get these fans out of here. 8 millimeter. I don't know if there's one down below or not. Might have to call underneath this thing anyway. Fans are going to come out, looks like. So Ford decided to put a harness. <clears throat> Attach a harness to the bottom of the to the bottom of the fans. Okay, I popped that one loose. It's just these two. Yeah. Well, these things still bolted together. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If you look right there, that harness, it's just a push pin type connection. You just push it in. I've just got to get in there with something and pop it off. I was able to pop the other side off just by hand, but I can't get enough leverage on this side. 
But then I, I think that harness is the only thing that's holding up the fans. Got it. If you don't have one of those, I highly recommend one. Let's see if that was the only thing holding us up. Right. Yeah, and there's, here, I'm going to show you what you're looking at here so you've got you know, of course you got that bolt those two and that one up top but they bolted them both together down here otherwise you'd have been able to take these out one by one I think but you can see let me turn it around see that right there not good. That thing is completely busted apart. I don't know if it looks like that fan. Take that clip off. That whole blade may come out of there. Anyway, so now what? So there's no hoses on the passenger side except for the these two upper ones, which is good. There's that harness I was fighting with. You got to take that out. That one there, I just popped off with my hand real easy. There's a piece of blade. And then those hoses there. This upper one I just cut. Then, uh, yeah, once I, once I get those lower hoses off, then uh radiator's going to pop right out of here. Let me get the camera set back up. All right, guys, so this is where you want the right tool for the job. Um, if you can see that smaller hose, let me zoom past that one. Uh, where are we at? You can see that clamp. Uh, hopefully you can see it. You see where the little nipple's sticking out? I've already got that hose removed. The hose right below it. The clamp is on the outboard side, and there's no room to, to get pliers or anything on it. So, that's where one of these little units come in. Very, uh, very nice to be able to just reach down there, put this on the clamp, and then you squeeze this with the uh, other hand, and it compresses that clamp. And it locks so that you can work the, work the clamp off. Highly recommend one of these too. So that's my next uh, little uh, challenge. I would have just cut that hose too, but <clears throat> there doesn't seem to be near as much slack in it. And you've got to pry hoses off. The manufacturer didn't do a good job cutting it.
Okay, now we just got the little radiator hose. Which we're replacing that anyway, so I could actually cut it off. But no problemo. But we'll see. We'll see how it comes off. Wow, radiator hoses pop right off. Transmission lines don't, though. Okay. There you go, guys. These little rubber pieces is what the radiator fits down into. The, this side stayed in, this side came out, so I'm just going to shove it right there. Put that back there, that way, that holds that bracket out of the way. Clean up and then we'll uh, get the new radiator and take a look at it. Actually, I guess what I need to do is go see if I can get one of those fans. So let me get cleaned up. I'm going to go price the fan. Go from there. Okay, I'm swapping out these hoses. Kind of getting prepped to put the new radiator in. And I was wanting to bring this to you guys' attention. Sometimes these clamps have a little locking tab. So if you compress these enough, they will lock themselves open, and then you can finagle them around on the hose and get the hose off. Um, see how I did that one? So not all of them have it, but if you see a little tang right there, then uh, utilize it. Makes it a lot easier getting them off. Anyway, I'm just... I'm going to get the hose, the new hoses on. That's pretty self-explanatory. I've got the this, I've got both old ones off, and uh, I went ahead and put this snake skin on the new one. And I'm just going to slide the new ones on, get the clamps on them, and that way uh, the hoses will be ready. And then I'm going to drop the radiator back down in here. And whenever I get to that point, I'll turn the camera back on. I've ordered a new fan assembly. Uh, the parts houses do not sell this fan, this, they don't sell the blade, and they don't sell just a single fan. It only comes as assembly, it's 170 bucks. So, unfortunately for the owner of this car, they're going to have to spend another 170 bucks. Um, I mean, it looks like the bearing, unless that's just a piece of debris that got in there, yeah. There ain't no way, because that's, that's just a channel. First I saw that and I thought, man, there's a bearing in there. I might have to dig that out. That might be a rare pearl. Anyway, that's the story, and I'm sticking to it. So, oh, another thing. This one came, uh, this plug here came off no problem. This one here came off no problem, but whenever I pushed down on the uh, tab here, it just snapped off. So unfortunately, these things are very, very brittle. This car's got over 200,000 miles on it. You can see how that thing's been getting hot anyway. Look at that little tab in there. I might have to reach in there and see if I can clean that up. These fans pull some serious current. Anyway, make sure that you block this out of the way. Do not have to take that lower bolt off to remove this completely, but I would recommend putting it completely out of the way because you don't want to you don't want to snag the radiator on it. And what I've been doing is you can see how it kind of pushes the back piece uh, in front of the radiator support. I've just been sticking my pliers in between that gap, and it holds it holds it right up out of that uh, out of the way. 
because you don't want to snag your radiator on it and damage your radiator. Anyway, until the radiator's ready to go in, camera's going off. All right, so we're ready to put the new radiator in. I've already removed all the caps. I recommend removing any caps that are on the radiator while you got it out because once you get it in there, a lot of times you have limited access and you're sitting there trying to finagle a cap off of one of these uh, inlets and it can be frustrating. So there's the new radiator. Make sure you've got your little rubber grommets down there. And then basically the radiator is just going to fall right down in here. I've got this uh, hose. That's actually a hose right there. I've got all the hoses out of the way, so I should not have to be fighting any hoses. The radiator <coughs> should fall in, down in there. I've got this little bracket held out of the way. So uh, we're going to stick this radiator down there. And I'm going to unclip this off the old radiator. set up. I'm going to leave this loose because I'm going to have to drop those fans down, down in here. Fans won't be available until about 10.30, so a couple more hours. So right now all I'm going to do is I'm going to get these hoses, the, all the hoses hooked up, so that all i got to do is drop those fans down. I actually might leave these top hoses undone. Because I think I had to work my way around those to get the fan out of there. Anyway, other than hooking hoses up right now, I'm done. Once I get the fan assembly ready to go down in there, then uh, I'll turn the camera back on. Alright guys, so I've got the, got the hoses hooked up down below. Um... I'm kind of at a standstill right now until I get the fans here in about an hour and a half. I went ahead and cut a piece of the cardboard out of the box that the uh, radiator came in just to put it in front of the radiator. That way when I do slide the fans down here, uh, that's going to help protect the front of the radiator. The last thing you want to do is damage the radiator and then you're trying to take it back and explain to them that you screwed up because they're not going to... They're not going to be as friendly as you're going to want them to be. Anyway, until the fans get here. Alright, so here's the fan. If you take a look at this, both these connectors are up at the top. They're pointing straight up. It's also got this additional uh, ballast. The pro or, uh, Actually, I think this... Uh, it's not necessarily a ballast. I think it's a resistor. And... And I think what that's for is for like low speed, and then it just bypasses that when it kicks it onto high speed. Now, this vehicle didn't have that connector, so it's probably somewhere else in the system or it's controlled differently. But the biggest problem I've got is where this connector is at. On the driver's side, on the original, it was coming out the side. Now, as long as this connector will reach, it's not going to be a problem. But that's the question is will this reach if not now it's just two wires the problem is I went back to their website I bought the, this at O'Reilly's both O'Reilly's AutoZone which are the two close suppliers to me they show this same fan design so then I went to Rock Auto and they listed about oh, 10 different brands of these fans and only two of them had the connector coming out the side. All the others had the connector coming up uh, at the 12 o'clock position for all the diff different brands that they sell except for two of them. 
so I don't know I don't know what the deal is I mean everything else the tabs the way it bolts up uh, the little things right here that uh, spades that slide down into the uh, receptacle there well, this says continental there I wonder if continental is a uh, product of uh, Murray but anyway uh, it's got this extra stuff right here which the other fan the uh, fans didn't have so we're, I'm going to slide this down in there and we're going to see if this thing's even going to hook up okay and like I said I put this piece of cardboard here just to help me protect the uh, radiator Almost there. that hose out of my way that might just help. We're set. Make sure this connector will reach. And it looks like it's going to.
And that's just a matter of bolting, bolting this stuff up. I've got to hook one hose up right here, then these two over here. Put the bolts in for the fan. Now the one thing you want to do is make sure before you kick the fans on, you want to spin them by hand. Because the last thing you want is the fans contacting the radiator and then you kick them on. So this entire job was able to be done from the top, which is very good. You may have to adjust this. It's a good idea to mark it before you take it off, but usually you can just go by where the uh, original bolts, they, they've made their own mark on it. So if you just line those up, you're probably gonna be just fine. All right. Oh, I gotta secure this upper radiator hose. The uh, clamp that normally clamped it was broke. So I'm just going to run a zip tie through there and call her good. This is radiator and fans as it turned out. Uh, I'm just going to let it run and warm up. I'm going to finish topping off the uh, radiator with antifreeze and however much water it ends up taking. But uh, other than that, we're done. Uh, I'm going to shut the hood make sure that it latches okay. If it doesn't, I'll tweak that just a little bit, but I think I got it back in the right spot. Let it run, let it warm up. Top it off with antifreeze. You guys take care.